Hi, I'm meteorologist Vin Crosby. We have some pretty wet and wild weather coming our way, some wintry weather as well. It's been a while since I've been here on the weather show with Vin Crosby. Had a little cold, actually been out and about and really pounding the pavement, visiting schools and taking all kinds of video. And if you stay tuned to the end, you'll see some of those great sixth graders I spoke to later on in the show. A lot of fun and enthusiasm with that group, that's for sure. Wait till you see some of the pictures they put together, too. Some of the best weather coloring pictures you'd ever see. All right, let's talk weather because we have two systems that are moving in our direction. They're going to provide a lot of rain and snow to the west. We're talking California. We're talking Washington. Idaho, Wyoming, Utah. If you're traveling anywhere in the West, this one is going to be impactful, folks. And heavy snows coming to some mountainous regions of Idaho, Oregon, and down through the Sierra Nevada mountains. Let's get into the satellite picture. You can see a big spin, very clear, back out in the Pacific Ocean. There's a little curl and a lot of cloud cover coming on shore. That's the first wave. The first wave will move on through the region, and that's going to bring a tremendous amount of rain and snow in the next 12 to 18 hours. But that second system is going to move on through, and that's really going to be the catalyst for tremendous precipitation throughout the west for this weekend. Look at all these watches and warnings that are up throughout much of California. This is just from the first storm system that's out there. And then back up into Idaho, we also have some winter weather advisories that are in effect. But the pink areas through the Sierra Nevada mountains, those are winter storm warnings. And then the green areas down across much of California, flood watches, flood warnings, and small stream advisories all in effect. The pink areas is the small craft advisories and gale warnings that are in effect for the coast. So a lot of warnings and watches out already in advance of these storms as they move on through, especially in California around those mountains, mudslides, rock slides, all that a good possibility on top of the snows coming on down. And I do think that Idaho and the Treasure Valley will get some snow. So be sure to keep on watching as we check out and see when that snow and how much is going to come to the Treasure Valley floors. Also, the mountains of Idaho, the ski area is getting some great snows here as we go in through February. So let's check out the uh, storm systems and the model information that's going to be accompanying these uh, storm systems. You can see that the precipitation totals, this is the amount of rain and snow combined. Look at this for Central California. It blossoms into a lot of the greens. You get the blues, and then you get into the greens, and then some oranges and some reds. Those are the higher rain totals that are going to be coming down. Some areas will see between 5 and 7 inches of precipitation, of rain in the valleys, and so you're going to see a lot of flooding there. Back across the northwest, look at the precipitation that's coming. It's going to impact all areas, Washington State, Oregon, Idaho, back in the mountains, down through California, and of course down through Nevada. Notice that here too we're going to see that first wave move on through with lots of precipitation coming on down. And then the second wave of moisture is going to come on through. And you can see that that will start blanketing all of pretty much California in the west. But watch how that precipitation expands towards the east. Now these are rain totals and precipitation totals, meaning that it's from the snow that's melted on down. And notice that we're seeing across the region over a half inch of precipitation falling by the tail end of the weekend in the Treasure Valley, and then even more back up in the mountains. So that's going to uh, translate into some snow that's coming on down across much of the region in Idaho and southwest Idaho as well. Check out some of the snow totals here too. You can see there's a blanket of snow coming on in through the California mountains. Some areas will get up to between two and four feet of fresh new snow. It'd be great to go down around the Lake Tahoe re region to do some skiing, but you don't have to do that because it's going to be fantastic skiing conditions in Idaho again by the tail end of this weekend. Boy, if you have Monday off, which many of us do, that's going to be a great time to head on up to the slopes. Notice the snow's falling down in Idaho and there will be a little patch that moves on down into the Treasure Valley where we could see a dusting to an inch and maybe even a little bit more in some of the grassy areas as the snow and the precipitation really intensifies with the second system that moves on in to the Pacific Northwest. But up in the mountains of Idaho, 
Many areas will get between 5 and 10 inches of fresh new snow. Some of the higher elevations by Sunday night getting a little bit more. So, yep, get those skis out. Get ready with the passes. Head on up to the hills. Be very careful on the roadways, though. As you can see, much of the west, if you're traveling, will be very, very sloppy as we go on in through the uh the weekend hours into Sunday, Saturday night, and into Sunday with very wet conditions. The winds, of course, pretty gusty at times from the southeast and then coming from the northwest throughout the Treasure Valley. So kind of blustery, very cold and chilly with that wind and the moisture in the atmosphere too. So prepare for that. But that's mainly down in the Treasure Valleys. I think the mountains will be just fine for some snow. Keep in mind with the fresh snowfall, usually 24 hours to 36 hours right after the fresh snowfall, you're going to have the best chances for avalanches. So watch out for that, especially when you get uh, snows in that one to three foot range down in the Sierra Nevada mountains, back up into eastern Oregon, and then of course throughout much of Idaho. But a couple of things to keep in mind, I have a weather forecasting school called WFSI, the Weather Forecasting School Initiative, and I've been out and about to a bunch of schools. Um, kids and students are using it across much of Idaho, across much of the country, and they have been wonderful because they really dive in to what I've been teaching with the videos. I have 45 plus videos in each of these lessons. I'm going to start doing a weather class. I'm going to do four courses through the month, a uh, very reasonable rate for only $37.77. You can be involved and learn how to forecast as good as anybody um, for a month. It'll be once a week, uh, about an hour, hour and a half on a Zoom. So if you're interested in that, message me and we'll get that underway or keep, go to WFSII.com and then look for posts there. Um, and that's usually I'm going to have the schedules and do various classes. So anybody at any time, we can uh, hopefully mesh and get you taken care of. But let me tell you, going to these schools, um, I went out to Lewis and Clark Middle School over in Idaho and look at these folks. I mean, they brought me into the auditorium or to the gym, put up the big screen. Uh, we went through some of my coursework that uh, is on the video and anybody can use and interact. And then the students, you can see them here, tremendous, 250 plus sixth graders, all attentive, all very well behaved, and they did a lot of great questioning. What's going on in the weather? They had great uh, questions. We even got out and we did a little tornado demonstration, and one of the teachers uh, became a mesocyclone spinning around and uh, forming a tornado. So it was a lot of fun with all the students and teachers out there at Lewis and Clock uh, Middle School in Boise. I have more information here, a video coming up at the end on WFSI, and it's the Weather Forecasting School Initiative, something I've been working on for four years. It's out, it's moving, um, people are loving it. And so if you want to really get into the nitty gritty of what forecasting is about and learn a little bit more and track weather, we're going to get into the not only the classes that are there. We're going to go through all of them, but we're going to have questions and answers afterwards in the Zoom weather online weather classes. And so if you're in Florida tracking the heavy rains, if you're out in the Northwest, uh, you can ask some questions or back up into the Northeast. So hopefully you can let friends and family know. You know there's a lot of weather enthusiasts out there. And so just let them know if they want to really get involved and learn how to forecast like a real meteorologist. That's what I'm going to be teaching with this weather school.